I made little baskets for them. I made little baskets for them using this flour doily. So um, I used to need about four to five a day and then starch them like that in two little uh, baskets like this and then put a, a handle and chocolates inside. So oh, today yeah. you're going to learn just that, the flour doily, so that you can someday make little baskets, not someday, soon, make little baskets as um, I'll show you how to form them next session. This session, we are going to do this flour doily. Okay. Have you understood the instructions? I sent you all these instructions earlier. So how many, how many are we going to cast on the needle? Eight. How many? Eight. Eight. Very good. Eight. And I'm taking blue thread so that you can see the background. Okay. Okay. Against the background. Okay. So this okay. is my blue thread. You're, we are going to revise the MR, so wind the uh, yarn around your finger. Put it here. I'm it's holding a little, uh, little in front. To two. No, no, to your left. Where this to do list is, yeah, there. Fine, that's perfect. Remain yes. there only, yeah. Okay. So, um, once you wind uh, the yarn around your finger, it won't go off, no? No, no. no. Just okay. ask Lorraine to send me the link. Lorraine, can you send um, Effie the link so that she can... Same link it is. Same link. Same link. Okay. So we start now. Wind your yarn round the finger like you would do crochet. Okay. Now, with your other two fingers, thumb and a forefinger of the other hand, just make a loop and hold it between this thumb and and fourth finger or third finger or middle finger. Okay? Ready? Yeah. Girls? Okay. Now put your crochet needle through. Put your crochet needle through. Pick up one loop. Pick up another. You've got one stitch. Right? Let me do that again. I somehow did it very tight. One. Wow. One stitch. Put your crochet needle in. Take out another loop. Another, another loop through it. Through stitches. Crochet needle in. Loop out. Another loop. Three. Crochet needle in. Loop out. Another loop. Yeah. You need they are going off the video, the camera. Just go to that uh, words where do do list. Yeah. Okay. I'll start again. Yeah. Two times. Okay. Now you can see. Yes. This, yeah. Yeah. This is a plain loop. Put your needle through. Take out a loop. Another loop. First stitch. Put your needle in. Take out a loop. Another loop. Second. Put your needle in. Take out one loop, take out another loop. You've got three stitches. Put your needle in, take out one loop, take out another loop. So now you've got. Now, do you have four? Please tell me if you've got four. Yes. Okay, now? Yes. Okay, now I'm removing. Removing my crochet needle, but I lost one stitch. So I'm doing it again. Uh, this is a bit far away from me. So that's why it's a bit uncomfortable. Okay. Now my needle is four. Uh, just so, your, uh, so that it's not far for you. What's that? Uh, adjust your camera so that it is not far for you. It's easy then to stitch it. To make it no i have tied my camera in such a place that you can see uh, the same angle as me otherwise you will get the uh, see reverse image okay. okay so these are the four stitches okay i've put on one needle as soon as you put it in you should take it to the other side so that you 
you know that this four are over. Two. Then take your crochet needle again. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Put your needle through. Take out one loop. Take out another. Take out one loop. Take out another. You've got two stitches. Put in your needle. Take out one loop. Take out another. That's your three stitches. Put your needle in. Take out another. Okay? So now mm -hmm. you've got four stitches here also. Yes. Oopsie. My 4mm needle? This will be the review. What I'm doing. Oh. Oh. Thanks, babe. So um, now I'm picking up all these four stitches. Please remember, I had just forgotten, since you're using 4mm, your stitches have to be much looser. Otherwise, they'll hassle you afterwards. Okay. Correct. That's what I want to talk to you. Yeah, now look, just pull. Now, now can you see that you're getting a... Ring. A ring? Yes. yes. Not only are you getting a ring, but the ring is loose. Can you see it's loose? And you yes. can see this part also, right? This, yes. uh, this This particular tail. Now you yes. hold these two... Uh, these two four stitches that you have here, I see I'm holding it tight and yes. I'm taking the tail end and pulling it, making it very tight as you can see. Hmm? So now I got a ring. Now if you look at it properly, I've got a flower. No, I got like a, a ring, no, in the center and yes. I've got these two threads which are in the center. Center yeah. of the two needles, right? See, my fingers, I'm moving my fingers, these two. These two, okay? Yes. Now, this will be this one. This one will be my needle one. And I'll always work with needle one to take out needle one stitches, four stitches. And this one here is my needle two. Correct. Which I'm moving, okay? So now yes. I take the stitches to the end of my needle one. Now for one or two, two rounds, you'll have to remember which is uh, needle one, needle two. But after that, you can use a marker. Now it's too small to use a marker. Okay. Okay. Now I'm pu pushing it to the end. Mm -hmm. So that I can start my row one. Now that I've finished casting, what do you think my row one is? Now you're going to tell me. Come on. Now I'm going row. to start with row one. So what is my row one? Row Neat. one is all. Neat all. Neat all. Neat. Neat all okay. Neat. So all four I'm going to need taking the other end of needle one. Yeah. Okay. Insert in. Neat one. One, need two, need three. Oh, out of focus. Your hand is only can be seen. Come back here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. So I finished needle one. Now so when I say I finished needle one, actually I've finished... Uh, Four segments because uh, each each stitch is one segment. Okay, pull your needle one, and yeah. then bring the stitches close to needle the edge of needle two, and go on jump from needle one to needle two. Okay, see? Can you see this now? Yes. My yes. my uh, thread is here, and I'm going to start with this needle. Yes. So we have to ensure that our stitches are a little loose, right? Little, yes. Uh, the first uh, row, you'll always have trouble. See how I'm uh, struggling to pierce because first row, 
is tight usually for only the first row. Then after that, it's fine okay. because then it will adjust. But it, they should be. Uh, you should easily be able to move the stitches. It should not be so tight that you can't move, and it okay. shouldn't be so loose that it'll uh, it'll just uh, slip out and okay. make big big holes. Okay, so All that right. you will know as you're doing. You will realize the the okay. tension, uh, the what tension you have. Huh? Okay, each okay. one of us have a di different tension, but we need to adjust it every time. Okay. See, even I'm taking very long for the first row. That's okay. why, that is the very reason why we start with small needles at the center. So okay. that's why I asked you to bring 3 mm and 4 mm. So we always start with 3 mm. Actually, I even start with 2 mm. And then okay. we go on to increasing the, uh, this thing, the width of the, the diameter of the needle. Right. But it's okay. Today we are starting with 4 mm because I want to make it more lacy, more holy because uh, your baskets look <laughs> better like that. You, as you can see, these baskets look better when they are thinner, thinner thread. I'll show you one that is very thin. This one has got a very thin thread. See how nice baskets. it is. Oh, right? no. Very and cute. Yeah. yeah, This is with thin thread. Okay. Yeah, just got two shades. Uh, units three one one. Uh, this one that I did is with thin, yes, that thin thread and uh, and uh, with four two. mm. So it's looking very lacy. See, is it three mm? Uh, no. Sorry, is it uh, three one one? Uh, three one one six? Yes. Uh huh. But it is four mm uh, needle. Mm -hmm. So okay, but yeah. you. I didn't start you with that because uh, you need to really be able to secure this, otherwise it, the stitches slip. So, no. whereas uh, some people prefer to use thin thread, so um, you can do, uh, you can use whenever you want, whatever thread you want. Mm -hmm. You know, in our olden times, where when I learned, where yes. there was thread and all, all that, no thread, so our parents used to, um, the sutli, you know, that they used to tie our, uh, this thing, Everything used to be tried in newspaper and one so thin sutli. So we used to yeah, take yeah. it out and collect that oh, and keep on knotting it and and uh, making one big ball out of it. So, uh, and we survived huh. with that. Right? Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to start the second row, which also says neat all. Correct. So... So I'm still going to count together. And after that, we are going to do segment by segment, okay? As we start the pattern. <laughs> so see, now my stitches are so much looser. And I'm able to do, go very much faster. See, yeah? one, two, three, four. You finish the off, off the camera. Middle number one. Yeah, I'm just neaty. I think my camera is uh, also dangling and okay. So today so much better. Yeah. Okay. So now I've got needle number one done. Uh, row number two, needle number one. Okay. One, two, three. No, I think here there's some. Funny thing happening. See, every stitch you've got to count. Otherwise, you'll find extra stitches, less stitches. Just now I had one extra mm -hmm. stitch, which I realized I just pulled from somewhere. Okay, so I let it go. So now I have row two. Now you okay. listen, because now we are going to start with the pattern. Huh? Now, okay. every time you're going to count every segment so that you do not miss out right from the beginning. Now, okay. every time you see like this, you think you have missed out something. Look at this. Just look at it properly. Yes. So you think you have missed out something. I've been having queries from all of you saying that something is missing here. It's looking square. This is just the beginning and you're using two needles instead of four to make a circle. So it will look like this, but that's the reason why every time you, 
you are doing a stitching between knitting between the needles, you got to tighten it. See now what I'm going to do. Now the row, row three, yarn yes. over, knit one, right, yarn over, knit one. Okay. So yes. I'm going to yarn over. This is yarn over. Just keeping the thread over the needle becomes yarn over. Okay. okay. Yeah. Can you do it once again? Yarn over. Yes, this is my thread and this yes. is my needle, right? I just put the needle under, okay? And now I'm going to do a neat. Yeah, neat. This is the yarn over. This one that is over the needle. Okay. And then I'm going to take this neat and then I'm going to tighten it. So you see on this needle it is tight? Yes. So now it has breached the gap between the two needles. Then again, yarn over, neat one. Yarn over, neat one. Yarn over, neat one. That's it. Now I've finished. One, two, three. How many segments? Four segments, okay? Four. Four segments were on needle one. I've finished. Now I'm going to do four segments of the needle two. Once I, again, I'm between two needles, so I've got to tighten up. Remember, so yarn over, so my yarn over, go inside there and take out a loop. And now tighten between the two needles, tighten, okay? Then okay. yarn over, neat. Yarn over, neat. Yarn over, knit. I finished eight segments. Row number three. What is row number four? Is all all neat. the even rows are neat. So you don't have to worry. But yes, you have. I count always. The very fact I said yarn over and knit one per segment, it means that there are two, two stitches for eight segments. That's how I wrote there at the back. Can you see? See. So that makes it 16 altogether? Yes. That makes okay. it 16. But okay. don't count as full 16. Please count per segment so that you don't go wrong and you don't have to rip out. All right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Look. Now, see, look at this first stitch. You will think it is, a, it is a hole. It is not. This one is not a hole. This is a yarn over. All Can right. you see this stitch? Now, that's yeah. another query that I received that you looks like a hole. It's not a hole. It's a yarn over. So you take... All the yarn overs are holes, really. Okay, see now I've did, done one and two. And after one and two, again, I tighten it. Okay. Every time you come. So one segment done. One, two. Second segment. One. Two. Third segment. One. Two, fourth segment. Now I finish needle one and I'm going to needle two. Just turn over clockwise. And it, yeah, you're doing anti-clockwise. When you're yeah. leaving it, you will do clockwise. Okay. I'll show you that also because I will show you how to make the handle and that that's a flat stitch. So I will go show you how to do that. Uh, remove also. Remove your stitches and knit backwards also and knit together. Skip all that I'll show you today. Okay? Okay. Now I've already reached second needle. This is the fifth segment. One, two, sixth segment. One, two, seventh segment. One, Two. Eight segment. One, two. The very fact that I got all one, two, one, two, one, two, all correct counts, it just means that I have, a, yeah, that I've not missed out on anything. Okay. So now, girls, I have eight and eight stitches. So that becomes 16. Now I'm no. going to start, I'm going to start row five. Now, row five is yarn over, knit two. So I'm going to have three stitches. Yarn over, knit. Knit two. Knit two. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. 
two. Yarn over, knit two, one, two. Two segments done, yarn over, knit two. Three segments done, yarn over, knit two. When you find exact stitches means it's correctly, you're doing correctly. When you are doing the, the just knit all row, you can easily check whether all your stitches are correct. Why? Bring some back to Pulse ready for the next segment? Yes. Okay. Need to uh, yarn over. Need two. Fifth segment. Yarn over. Need two. Two. Sixth segment. Yarn over. Need. Two, seven segment. One minute, huh? I nearly dropped this one. Let me just pick it up. Yes, picked up. A yarn over. Need. Um, I'm very far away, so <laughs> it will be difficult for me to uh, control these stitches. Okay. Okay, here we go. So our line number six is finished. No, which one am I doing? Five is over. Five. Now need all. Now need all. Correct. So we've added three. Yes, now you've got to count three. Huh? One, two, three. First segment done. One, two. Three, second segment done. One, two, three, third segment done. One, two, three, third segment done. Four, I mean, sorry, fourth segment done, okay? Yes. Here. One, two. This is your time for checking. Three. Next segment done. Five. Two, three. Six segment done. One, two, three. Seven segment done. One, two. Three, eight segment done. Okay. So okay. this is how if you keep on counting in segments, you will never have to rip out the whole row. Never. Because you are counting and you know that you have done. See, it might look funny now, but it will take its shape as we go on. Now, Ru. Uh, it's just a question. When you're counting one, two, three, four, one this is segment one. So you're doing only neat, neat uh, stitches there. Yeah, well, if I if you are talking about row six, then it is neat all, right? But okay. I can see, but I can make out that I've got one, two, and the third stitch of mine will be this type, the yarn over. So I can make out that I'm on the right track, right? Yeah. Okay. Or or I, I can count yarn over. Need one, need two. Then I know that there's another hole there. I know that I've reached my second snake segment. Understood? So you've yeah. got to look a little bit. You will understand what your stitches look like. Hmm? The okay. matching. Now we are going to row number seven. Seven. Yarn over. Need three, right? right? Yes. We are now well. Knit three. One, two, three. We are now well. One, two, three. We are now well. One, two, three. 
actually one confirmation that you are on the right track is see now i got exactly three means i got exact stitches means i'm on the right track if i got more or less then i've got to see where i've added or subtracted okay and most most of the times what we do especially when we are just learning at least i did that is add extra yarn overs. When you add extra yarn overs, you'll get an extra hole. Correct. An extra lace, which you do not want because then you have lost the pattern. Right? Correct. Now I'm doing needle number two. Yarn over. One. And I never forget to this, huh? To tighten it. Yarn over one, two, three. Jay, you're off the camera. Yeah, yeah, right. I just. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Yarn over. One, two, three. This is now my sixth segment done. Okay. Then yarn over. One, two, three. Yarn over. One, two, Three. Okay. So we have finished row number seven. Right? Yeah. Girls, <laughs> should we be going a bit faster now? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Or oh, for on camera, I think you can see. Right? We can. You can at least you can know and you can do, right? Correct. Okay. Now eighth is neat all. So, segment one, I'm going to have yarn over and knee three means I have four, four stitches. Two. All are four, four stitches now. Come on, let's start. One, two, three, four. Segment two, one, two, three, four. Segment three, one, two, Three, four. Uh, let me show you uh, what I look out for. See, when I reach segment, uh, segment or the next segment, beginning. See, I look out and I see this hole there. I know this is the yarn over that starts my segment. So okay. then I know that I'm on the right track. Two, okay. three, finished. Four, done. Okay. So now I'm going to needle two. Lutes, did you understand? Is Lutes somewhere? One, two, three, four. Fifth step, segment one, two, three, four. Sixth segment, one, two, three, four. One minute, I can't see the stitch. I just dropped a stitch which I picked up. Show sure, when you pick up the stitch. Okay, I'll purposely drop one for you. Suppose I drop here. See? Yeah. Right? So I know that this is a, a ring into this ring. Can you see? So yes. I pick up with this needle and put it back there. Okay. All right. Or always keep your always keep your crochet needle very close to you so that in case you drop anything, tuck pick it up with that. Correct. Hmm? Right. But I now prefer to pick up with the same the next needle, so it's okay. Now finished four minutes. I've reached this next uh, next one that is uh, nine. Yarn over need four. Hmm? Yarn over need four. Girls, are you doing along with me? No. Nobody's no. doing? 
No, we are watching you. Uh, yarn over. Knit yes, four. four. Okay. Eunice. Yes. I'm, I started, but I will finish it because this is lunch time for, for us and we have we have our cousins over. But oh. I'll finish it and I'll show you, okay? Okay, wait, Biba. Yeah, you, do you need to go immediately? Then I'll show you how, how to do those two stitches first. I'll keep this. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Now I'm fine. Now I'm I'm on completely. Okay, because I need to show you uh, how to do that knit backward, and I need to show you how to do the skip. Two things. Yeah, as you're doing it, I will see. Okay, now okay. from now I'm not going to leave the picture in front of me. Okay. So I finished four segments. Now, ah, girls, please, uh, as we finish this needle, let's put a marker. Keep your marker ready, okay? Anything, any... Uh, uh, okay. Segment five, yarn over, knit one, two, three, four. Yarn over, knit one, two, three, four. Yarn over, knit one, two, three, four. Yarn over, knit one, two, three. Okay. Actually, you can either pass a little thread or do something. I forget because I, I'm used to looking at my end. See, this end, end thread or the beginning thread. And then I know that I am on the um, beginning of another row. But with you, you can easily put a marker here. So then you know when you're finished. You get these little colored pins, so you get a pin where you can put your own own thread or anything. See, can you see? Just yeah. pierce anywhere in the center and you know that that is your starting point, right? Okay, now let's go to row number. We are doing row number 10. I couldn't see. What you can see? Just yeah. show, stretch it out and show. Yeah, yeah. Madness. Okay. Can you see? Anywhere you can put a marker, but in between the needle one and two, so that you know where you start and where you end. Okay. Now I'm going so, to. Uh, that down. marker has to be always on the right hand side. What right hand side? In the middle, no? In the middle, but on your right hand side, hand side. No, in the middle. It's exactly in the middle of my right and left hand. Oh, uh, is... see, uh, it's uh, now it's more towards your right hand and uh, rather than to the uh, left hand side work. No, that's what I'm meaning. No, no, no. It's in the middle means middle. See, this is my right hand. This I'm sh shaking my thumb. My, my uh, uh, thumb. Yeah. yeah. This is my right hand. This is my left hand. Okay. And this yeah, the is work. The work is more from, to the left. No, and your uh, what you call that marker is to the right. That's what I'm asking. My, my left hand is stationary and my right hand is the one that is moving all the time. He's trying to ask where to attach the marker. In the it center, is... really. Really center. Of the work. When you start your work, that is what she's asking. It's yeah, the center. Tail, tail end, oh. which side it points, that side you have to att uh, attach, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yes. So that's the tail end, yes. that side you have to attend. Tail, tail end, tail end, yes. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, thanks, uh, Lorraine, for simplifying <laughs> my question. Eh? Five now, right? Yes. Three, four, five. Mm. I'm on the finished third segment. I'm the fourth segment one. Two, three. Mm -hmm. 
quatro, cinco. I finish the fourth segment, ok? Again, fifth segment, one, two, and never forget to tighten it here. Huh? Three, four, five. Fifth segment done, sixth segment, one, two, three, four, five. Starting six, seventh one. Two, three, four, five. Starting next segment, last segment, one, two, three, four, five. Right? Now we are doing the eleventh row. Yes. Eleven row is uh, yarn over knit five. Yarn over and knit five. So please see that I'm so careful that this needle goes, uh, this thread goes only once round so that it becomes yarn over so that you don't have more holes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then again, yarn over five. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no. One, two, three, four, five. Four segments done. Uh, yeah. All this while you've been doing one, uh, one pattern per segment, but. Uh, now we are going to diversify into having a second small little pattern after this row, after the even row. Okay, so here we are. One on top of this needle, that is yarn over. One, two, three. Three. Four, four, five. Four, three, four. What happened? To whom? I'm <laughs> sorry. What happened? <laughs> Three's right. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Row eleven we have done. Now twelve is neat all. So you'll have six stitches to neat. And uh, please realize that. See, see where I've reached. The very fact that I've reached at this orange marker, it means that it is already, I'm already at the beginning of a row, right? So new pattern to start. Can you see? See. So this is my old, uh, the second needle, and this is my 
first maybe. So we start another pattern. I mean, sorry, we start the knit all row. One, two, don't forget to tighten and carry on. Three, four, five, six, finished. Then I've got a, this here, yarn over. I know that I start the next row. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would really say, please uh, remember to to count each segment, okay? So that you don't reap at all. Because you can immediately catch what is the, what is the mistake when you, uh, when you uh, count in sections, in segments, because then uh, you know where you've reached, where you're missing one stitch, and just a look at it, you can make out that you've missed or not missed, okay? If we have missed, uh, how do we add one yes. stitch? Or... I'm no, I'm going to show you. See, now I've done six and you, know, you can easily see. See, when I look at this one, this one is a whole. This is a yarn over. Then this is one, two, three, four, five knits. Okay. Then I got another yarn over. Right. Can you see this one? Next hole. Next hole is here. So I know that this pattern is correct. Now, if I miss something, I would either, either if I added one hole, then I would know there's an extra yarn over and I'll drop that. And if I know that a neat is missing, I have to see where it has fallen down and go right up. They are just loops. It's one loop into the other loop. As you can see, the pattern is one loop into the other loop. So you go and pick up that loop wherever you have dropped it. All right. I still have one, my fifth segment to do. Okay, so. This is needle number two. Can you, make, can you make a mistake and show us how we can do it? Yes, I will make a mistake and show you when I reach the, when I'm doing the last thing. That, uh, what is that called? The handle, okay? The okay. red wool. And then I'll show you the mistake and I'll show you different stitches so that you don't, you okay. can easily see. And I have made a mistake there, so I will show you. Okay. I'll just try and finish this. I don't think otherwise we are going to end this. Because I'm very far and I'm doing exactly how you would do. Missing out on stitches. I can't even see. <laughs> I'm really far from my work. I'm used to holding it close to my chest and doing You know, if you follow the pattern, you can easily uh, understand it. Like, for example, see this pattern? You are going to, you are adding everywhere one yarn over, so you are increasing the stitches. So from one stitch to two, to three, to four, to five, to six. Now we have reached one pattern with six stitches. Uh, look at it. Can you see? Here at the middle, you had one stitch and then it became two stitches, three stitches, four stitches, five stitches, six stitches. Can you see? Yes. Is, does it look like a cone to you? Does it look All like a cone? All that is very good, uh, uh, Eunice. I just wanted to know how to count the rows also. You know, like see, when see, I reach see, 20 see. seconds. Yeah. See, I'm pointing out huh, with my okay. finger. I'm just Thank looking you. at one segment for you. This yeah. is one stitch. Correct. This is one, two stitches. This is one, two, three stitches. One, two, three, four stitches. One, two, three, four, five stitches. And now one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. You okay. count the loops. That's all. Okay. 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 Let's Good. count the loops. That's all. Yeah. Hmm? Because in macrame, it's be easy because it's each line. But here you're counting the loop. Yes. I didn't know that. I was trying to count the line and then finally I had to just 
take off everything. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now, oops. Okay. So now we go to why I stopped at this point is to show you that so far you were doing one pattern and increasing from one to six loops. Now, each segment will be of two, two different patterns, like not patterns, but I would say two different types of uh, thing, patterns. Okay. So let's call it patterns only. Anyway, so now that I've reached the six, now I, the pattern tells you that it is yarn over. Knit one, yarn over. So this you can consider as one type of pattern. Then knit two together, knit one, knit two together. Now here, if you see yarn over, knit one, yarn over, we are increasing stitches. Here we are decreasing. Yarn over, yarn over is increased. Knit two together, knit two together is decreasing. So this particular part we are decreasing, here we are increasing. So let's start with one pattern. So again, yarn over, knit just one. See, yarn over, this thread on top, yarn over, knit one, and yarn over. Then knit two together. Now, instead of knitting, let me show you this correctly. Eh? This is not really a knit two. When you start a pattern, what do you do is you slip one. This is skip one, actually. See, slip stitch without doing anything. Then knit this one, the second stitch. Knit it. And then take this slip stitch. Can you see I'm holding with my finger actually and, and this. Take the slips and slip it over the stitch. Did you see that? Ah, no response means I have to repeat. Okay, I'm repeating now again in the next segment. Okay. Knit one, uh, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. Okay, now, once again, I'm showing you that skip. Okay, or oh, that's SK1P. Means I'm going to slip one, knit one, and pass it over the stitch. See, slip one into the next needle, right? Then knit one. Right? When you look at this at my right hand side needle, you'll find that this particular stitch I have skipped. See? So I will take that, that stitch and pass it over my knitted one. Can you see? Yes. Your thumb is hiding the stitch. Oh. Okay. I will still do another one and show you. No, I'll do at every segment and show you. This was just to show you the. Okay. Now we are at segment three. Again, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. Okay. Now, once again, take this stitch, knit one. Now hold the, I have to use the thumb to hold it. Okay. But, uh, let's see which section, uh, how I can show you the best. Uh, it's good. Uh, no, no, it's dark. Now, now you can see. Yeah, I've taken this and I'm going to slide it over. That one. Over. Okay. Like a skip. Yeah, like a... Like first a you skip. First you skip one. Then you knit one. And then you pass the skipped stitch over the knitted one. Oh, gosh. Once again, huh? I've, you've got eight trials, don't worry. Eight times to see it. This is not the pattern, no? It is the pattern, no, actually. Eight. But I didn't show, I didn't write until you see it. Okay. Once again, okay? See. Slip. Slip. Knit one. Knit. Right? Okay. Now the trouble. Now, look at this stitch here. Yeah. This, uh, how do I point it now? Wait, I'll take another yeah. needle and point. Okay, I'll so take the second one out. after making the stitch. Yes, yes, the second one, okay? Yeah. I twisted it with my thumb and the needle. Oh, oh, hiding, hiding. Wait, I'll, I'll turn, I'll turn. Yeah, I've, I'm holding with the, with the needle point here, this needle. I'm holding with this left-hand needle and my thumbnail, actually. 
sit and then deciding here yeah, here yeah. i'm passing it through you just have to pass over the stitch knitted stitch can you see just pass Drop over the, over the first stitch yes over this first stitch finished that's it you drop it kind of yeah drop it okay then knit one you just drop it so that it becomes like a knit two together but if you can't do it just do knit two together and finish it up but if you can do no it it little bit enhances the pattern i'll show you how after i finish doing ah uh, here this one you can see so it ends uh, why the it enhances is because it gives you this edge one side and this edge the other side see can you see this edge does it look like an edge to you see slightly uh, slightly see can you see this part this part just point to the needle every you know. small thing adds beauty to the piece Eunice. Yes, it does. It does. See this? It's slightly raised. You know, this part is slightly yeah. raised. See? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. This, now part, we get it. this part is natural because you are doing knit two together, and this part because you are doing the skip. Okay. okay. Mm. So uh, yeah. So try and do it, but don't yeah, stress over it. Don't stress. You can do it when you are a bit. better with the needles and things but it's not difficult i promise you it's not difficult you need your thumb and the and the needle and catch it finished okay once again knit one sorry yarn over yeah yarn over knit one i think i'm still on the second needle right yeah okay once again i'm doing it huh? just pass the stitch the just uh, knit one Pass this over that. See my thumb comes out. Always your thumb hides. Yeah, yeah, because the thumb is pulling it. See, <laughs> my thumb is pulling it. Can you see? To pull, pull it over it. Finished. You need your thumb actually to uh, to do the magic. <laughs> I need my nail actually to do the nail thumb nail to do that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But you understood. It's just to pass over. That's all. Yeah, you can take a pin over the needle pin. also. You can yeah. take a pin also, a safety pin or something to pull it out. Yeah, you can use uh, various things to do, but then it uh, later on you'll know that you want to save that much of time, like no. So no, in the beginning, I'm saying. Yes, yes, yes. You do whatever is comfortable to you, but just slip the mm -hmm. second stitch over the first. That's it. Now, for me, it's like doing any other stitch. It's not a big deal because it's all. Right. I made that habit of uh, using my thumb and the same finger, and not you, not taking away. Okay. See, similarly, you know, there are crossovers. So these crossovers also are like that. So you have to make. Uh, there are very few stitches actually in the the thing, so you don't really have to worry much. It's I love the way you're working with each segment, uh, Eunice. We yes. have to practice to uh, learn how to work with each segment. I was not doing that. Now I'm yes. going to do that. Yeah, please count with every segment. Then definitely you don't have to uh, repeat all. Correct. Correct. See you now, even when I go, I look at it. I know what how many. Okay, now we have reached uh, row. Now we have reached row fourteen. So if I say row fourteen, there'll be six into again six stitches. Okay, so I need to count these six stitches when I'm doing. So, and I've reached my marker, so I know I've reached the beginning. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, have I reached another yarn over? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. 
two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Next line, we've got skip two. So this was skip one, then you have skip two. That I need to show you. And then I think maybe even the, this you can do. Okay. One, two, Three, four, five, six. See, I know that my five segments are okay now. I have counted. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Again, seven segment, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. All correct. All right, so now I know that my segments are correct because my number of counts is okay. And I also check the, the different stitches as I go along because the pattern is in my head now. Oh. Okay, now look at this. I want to show you, yeah. Now the pattern is yarn over. Need three yarn over, skip two. So, can you see? This is the pattern. This skip two is what I need to show you. So, yarn over, need one, two, three. Now, we are bunching that together. The You're bunching the three stitches in one. So, so what you're doing is skip one. Okay, can you see? Skip one. Then it's written need two together. So need two together. And the previous stitch, stitch skip over it. Done? So out of st three stitches, you have made one. Okay. Now back again to yarn over, need one, two, Three. Then once again, yarn over, yarn over, and try and see. Skip one, need, need two together. Take the skip stitch and pull it over. Here comes my thumb. Finished. That's it. Can you see that there are three stitches here? So, this finished. Huh? This stitches, okay? Yarn over, knit one, two, three, yarn over, skip two, skip one, um, knit two together, and pass, skip stitch over it, yarn over, knit one, Okay, here I dropped a stitch. Two, three. Uh. Don't be very scared of drop stitches. Just pick them as you go along. Who's uh, such a big sigh? What happened? Right? One Some, day. Somebody didn't sleep. <laughs> I'm doing the skip stitches in your sign. There, see, can you see the pattern? It's evolving. Okay. 
Okay, that done. Let's finish this this row. Then I think you can need to uh, then I think from here on you can do it yourself. See, uh, what would I say? finish that and the last row? If I have time, I'll show you. But otherwise, I'm just uh, telling you. See, look at this. Look at the pattern. There is one yarn over um, that three, three in one that we took. There's one yarn over here. There's three in one that is three stitches together. That's skip two that we did and one here. So you will collect all these three and uh, do a um, chain of uh, 10. Okay. Then you will collect these three. This, this look different as you can see. Can you see? Can you see now? Yeah. Now you will look at these three. One, two, and three. These three and collect them together and chain another 10. So then, then continue. Then again, you find this uh, Again, you'll find uh, yarn over that three together and one. Okay. So that's how you're going to make this chain. See. Chain. Pick up from this lot. Pick up from this chain eight in between. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the, the handle, how to make a handle. So this is the handle. I've just started it. You take five or six stitches, depends on how thick you want this handle. You take st six stitches and then just on, on a needle and just keep on knitting, 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 knitting. So suppose these are my six stitches. You need to see off the camera. No, I was just turning the work. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. See my work. It. Uh, I missed these two stitches. Now, suppose I let me just temporarily drop one stitch. I've dropped this stitch. Right? Then you see that the loop is still up there. You can just put and take out. Right? Suppose I drop one stitch below. Before I could take it, see, all have dropped. All stitches have dropped. So I'll pick up. And uh, let me say, just in case I drop this totally down. This stitch has come undone. Can you see? Yes. Huh? No, yes, it is a yes. loop. It's a loop. So what I'll do is I'll put in this previous loop, I'll put my crochet needle and pick up this loop that I've dropped through. Take it out through the loop. There, I got it, right? So now I'll put my needle and catch all these stitches. Done? So you saw how I took, I made one, another loop. It's just how you do your casting. You take a loop within a loop and you find, right? Now, for your handle, you see how long you want your handle. I'm not sure how long you want. Um, if this will be, where is my, this? Suppose this is my, this is my little basket. I may want from here till here. I may want a loop from here till here, right? Or I may want it like this, longer. So according to the length that you want, I think you can see better on this one. Can you see? Can you see on the other one? No, nothing. Okay, like this. Uh, like this. This is better, right? Uh, yes. This? yes. Okay. So suppose you got, uh, you want this length, then... Uh, do it, put it uh, against your work and see how much you want. I want it slightly longer, say about another five uh, 
rose longer. So I'll keep on kneading. You just knead, nothing else but knead. And I will show you how to attach later, okay? So I'm just kneading, see. Taking this, um, but I'm kneading on needle number three, uh, three mm, because it's too, too big a holes otherwise, see. Just knead on your needle number three. Just keep on knitting. I've put six stitches. You can put six, five, four, whatever. Whether you want it thicker, thinner, whatever. You want to make like Sabina's, uh, this thing, no? Handle. But this is in knitting. You can also make in crochet and put. You all are very uh, creative, right? And turn, turn and again. Keep on knitting. Finish this, turn the work. Turn the work. So you can use your, your. I'm also trying to show you that you can use your double um, edge, this circular needles to do flat work also. See? I finish six, then turn. Turn your work, take then the same needle, start again. Okay, girls? Yes. Understood this, no? So once I do as much as I want, then I cast off. Now, how do I cast off? You can cast off with a crochet needle. It's so much easier. So for this, what do you do? You wind your thread around your finger just like you do for crochet. Take out two stitches. Take out two stitches on your crochet needle. One, two, and make a loop. One loop. Then again, take out one more stitch. Pick out a loop. Take out one more stitch. Pull the loop through. Take out one more stitch, pull the loop through. Take out one more stitch, pull the loop through. Pull one more loop and you're finished. Finished your work. Now I, I would advise you to keep a thread so that you can uh, stitch it up. So I'm keeping, say, a 10 centimeters thread, cutting it off. And keeping this to finally attach to my uh, basket, right? Once you, um, once you, this now my basket, this is around, yes. This is around six, six inches or I think 14, uh, 14 centimeters, right? But if after making, it'll be at least 16 because it stretches like this after you uh, start it. Okay. So make this and keep ready. This. And this, I expect you to do this flour doily and this particular handle and keep ready. Next time we are going to start and form these beauties, right? Uh, uh, you need after starting, after so many years, I cannot figure core root. You go? I didn't get that. Now we can go root no, after no, no. starching. No, no, no. Starch is not uh, acidic or anything. Nothing happens to it. But after you uh, wash, uh, see, it uh, uh, It doesn't really collect much dust because you can dust it off. But suppose you need to wash after a week or after one month or after one year. You need to wash it. Wash it, it will become totally limp. And then you've got to start again. Every time you wash, you have to um, start it again. Okay? That's the only part about uh, this. It looks so beautiful. But every time you wash, you've got to start it. Now, actually, Eunice, when you yes. have finished this thing, it is completely flat? Yes, it's completely flat like this. Uh -huh. It's only the starching which makes it uh, round. Yes, see, see, this completely flat and it's uh, this thing also. That's why I encourage you to start with a thicker thread because at least it holds something. Otherwise, it doesn't hold also. It's completely flat. 
But after starching, it becomes very beautiful. See, even this one I did, I starched it today for you. Oh. Just to show you this one and that that um, it's smaller counterpart. Now, this particular one you would be able to make in a cup shape also? This one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah? Any oh, shape you want. You just uh, knit it flat so that tomorrow you don't want a cup and you want a doily you can oh, have. So you knit it flat like this. Okay. And then uh, when you start it, you shape it. I will show you how to start and shape it. Uh -huh. Okay. So Thank my you. next session will be to complete your your bigger doily. Do you have any difficulty where the swirl doily is concerned? No, we can follow. Yeah. The only thing I think that you need to know is that whenever you're knitting and you want it to, uh, to be, uh, you want a... Uh, Suppose this is your need. He had a lot of trouble getting that. I don't know what uh, OCI. What happened? Uh, Bina asked me this question. I think uh, how to uh, how to do a KB that is uh, neat backward. Now normal knitting, you would put your needle like this, correct? Can you see? Yes. You would put through this part here. But uh, neat backwards, the KB, it's written. So that you put from the back like this. The back loop. But you need the same way. Right? Okay. okay. Hmm. That's the only thing. But if you can't, you can. Uh, these are the small little features that uh, uh, you will get once you practice. But if you don't get also just neat and go forward, it will still look good. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Eunice, that knit backward, yes. is it like a pearl? No, it's not like a pearl. It just gives us a, a twist. If it is a loop, no, it just gives a slight twist like that and it looks lovely. Uh -huh. Thank yeah. You. So these are those small little features that uh, like instead of knit together, you're doing a skip. Instead of knit three together, you're doing a skip two. But um, these, you know, give that slight edge, like slight look, which most people might not notice, but um, it looks nice. But if you can't manage, at least do the need to together and get on because, you know, um, later on, in any case, you will get this, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, it's difficult to find patterns for small doilies. There are patterns for doilies with 50 rows, um, 70 rows, 120 rows, like that. You have not yet reached the, this to do that. So that's why I gave you a swirl pattern where you can keep on increasing. This flower pattern also you can keep on increasing. But uh, so I gave you so I, this flower one I had to make up myself. But uh, I can if I can make up one more, I will for you because uh, there have been requests for more uh, small doilies. But uh, there are some patterns on the net. There are some patterns that I have, but what happens is that unless I do, I can't recommend because if one stitch is missing, you uh, you won't be able to correct Probably. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I don't want you to feel discouraged. So these patterns I've done many times and that's why I know they are foolproof. And so I've given them to you. So, yes. so if, whenever I try something, um, but I've not uh, tried many small little doilies. I usually go... Um, do above 120, uh, 70 to 120 I like to do because they look nice. But uh, once you reach that, once you practice these small doilies, I will, uh, I, I've i kept one uh, one uh, Chinese Latin pattern to give you or whoever crosses that 40 mark of the swirl. And uh, the swirl can be continued. I'll give you that also so that you can continue and make it very big. Right? Yeah. Okay.